Representative Dunbar. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, not to use a, a radio pun, but my reception and understanding of this is very staticky and, and, and fuzzy, <laughs> to tell you the truth. But uh, You're probably operating under open sky then. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm sure. I, and, and, and to bring this all full circle, we really need to look at the governor's budget, and, and that's what we're here to do. And, and in his budget proposal is a line under keeping Pennsylvania safe provides $53 million for communication and infrastructure purchases to modernize our statewide radio system and comply with federal requirements. So, and I appreciate, I love the fact that you said, uh, Major Stackhouse said any money's going in, your chin is in your pocket, so there's $53 million in your pocket. I, I need to understand, first off, are we out of compliance with federal requirements? Well, we're right now with Open Sky, we're operating a proprietary network. It doesn't uh, conform to any national or international standards. So yes, the P25 is actually going to allow uh, a cost savings to the Commonwealth as well as interoperability opportunities to counties. Um, okay, let me, let me understand. Go ahead. So Open Sky is, is the failed system, I guess failed is a, is a, is that yes. a fair word? Fair. And you're replacing it with P25, which you've, te you've started to test in Venango and a couple Northwest counties. Yes, yes sir. Okay, uh, you also mentioned StarNet, what is StarNet? That's the statewide radio network, and that's what I oversee. Okay. And StarNet, and what is P25 then? P25 is just, um, is just a term um, of set of standards that, um, uh, like I said, is, and I'll give you the, the APCO actually ter uh, coined the term uh, P25, and it is a bunch of standards. Um, APCO, in our situation with P25, our system relies on VHF <laughs> spectrum and for capacity in the cities, 800 megahertz. So our P25 system is VHF and 800, and uh, a nice uh, addition is the capabilities that we added for no cost to the taxpayer the ability to use UHF frequencies on our system. So that means we can help more counties if we need to. Um, and we, you know, like I said, it, it's a, a lot less costs and a lot more opportunities. So the $53 million is going towards fill in the blank. 20, 24 million is going to continue to operate our statewide radio network including Open Sky. The remainder of that money is going for infrastructure, statewide rollout of P25, the new radio system, as well as uh, the budget has outlined um, the money for mobile radios for state police cars, portable radios, repeaters in those cars, and installation costs. So the 53 million, 24, for normal operating, the rest for P25 and for Pennsylvania State Police. So then is it fair to say that going forward into future years, that number will be reduced? Absolutely. In five years, once we fully deploy P25, that extra, like in this, in this fiscal year coming up, we're asking for $29 million, that will go away. And I will tell you, in fiscal year 20, 21, 22, you're going to see approximately a $6 million decrease in our operating budget because we will have less towers, less leases, uh, that, and uh, better savings on maintenance and utilities. Okay, it's, I, I hope someone wrote that all down because <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's somewhat getting a little bit clear. Um, I'll end my questioning there and we'll go on to the next questions, which will be Representative Keller. Yes, sir. 